And this is the jewel of democracy. If we can do this in 24 hours, we can defeat Pombo in the next week. Thank you. My name is Jerry McNerney. Well, in 2004, I received a call from my son who joined the service because of the terrible attacks of 9-11. He received his absentee ballot in the mail. No one had filed to run against Richard Pombo. Well, Richard Pombo is one of the most corrupt members of Congress, and Michael asked me to run against him. Yeah. I wrote a, I ran a road, I ran, <laughs> sorry. a writing campaign, and I called for a recount and I paid for it out of my own pocket, and I won that primary election by one single vote. Yeah. Let me say that again. I won it by one single vote, and next Tuesday, every single vote counts. Yeah. I ended up losing the general election, but I didn't give up. Yeah. I didn't give up because Richard Pombo is one of the 13 most corrupt members of Congress. Yeah. I didn't give up because Richard Pombo... Jerry, 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 Jerry. Well, it is so wonderful to see all of you out here fighting for democracy, fighting for real change. This is what democracy is about. It's about you people. It's about standing together and fighting for a new country. Because I know that America can be far greater than it is today. I know that our destiny is far higher than fighting wars of aggression for rapidly depleting resources. And I want to tell you right now, it's my very big honor and my distinct privilege to introduce... whose legacy is peace, prosperity, and hope for the future, yeah. President William Jefferson Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Whoa. Thank you.
much. First of all, thank you. Thank you for waiting. It may be ready tonight, but the sun will be shining on Tuesday when you elect. Ladies and gentlemen, I started this day very early in the morning. I got home last night and I was up until 3 o'clock in the morning doing my work so I could get up this morning. I flew to Memphis, Tennessee, across the river from where I grew up in Arkansas to campaign for Harold Ford for the Senate. Yeah. And then I flew to Colorado to campaign for Ed Perlmutter for Congress. He's going to be joining Jerry. Then I went to San Francisco where tonight we raised two and a half million dollars for the Democratic Campaign Committee. And I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be here with my longtime friend John Garamendi. I thought it's funny, we got a Basque farmer and an Irish energy expert. Is this a great country or what? John Garamendi supported me for president in 1991 when only my mother thought I could be elected. <laughs> Hillary and Chelsea were undecided. <laughs> He's been my friend. He served with great distinction in the Department of Interior back when we had an interior department that believed we ought to follow the law. Yeah. And I want you to make him lieutenant governor. Yeah. I want you to make Senator Bowen here Secretary of State. Yeah. And I want to thank Art Torres for being a great state party chairman and a great yeah. chairman. Now look, the hour's late and you're all wet. And I still have to go to Nevada tonight to campaign there tomorrow because we're going to send two more women to Congress to help Jerry. I want to be serious just for a minute. I have now traveled to 27 states. I will be in 29 states, many of them several times before this is over. And then I'm going home on the weekend to make sure my wife gets across the finish line in the Senate race in New York. I, I'm seeing things I never thought I'd see in, in New York where we have nine Republicans and 20 Democrats in our House delegation, we thought that we had one chance at a pickup a month ago. Today we've got four. In Pennsylvania, five. In Connecticut, three. In Ohio, four. Places where no Democrat has never ever served. And I think it's important that we recognize why this is. Because it's not fair to blame Republicans for what's going on in Washington. For six years, for the first time, the American people have seen the entire national government, the executive and the congressional branches, controlled by a very narrow strip of the Republican Party. It's most conservative, special interest dominated, ideological wing. And we have a clear choice here. Their, their obsession is to concentrate wealth and power we want to empower all Americans. Yeah. They believe that the government should be run for and by the special interest. We think it ought to be run for ordinary Americans. Yeah. They believe that decisions should be made by ideological extremists in a way that divides the country. We believe decisions should be made by 